Out of Paul, you've often said you believe defining marriage is a job that should be left to the states. Recently, Senator Santorum asked, if a state wanted to allow polygamy, would that be okay too? What's your answer to that? Well, that's sort of like asking the question if the uh, states wanted to legalize slavery or something like that. That is so past reality that no state is going to do that. But uh, on the issue of marriage, I think uh, marriage should be t between a single man and a single woman. And that uh, the federal government shouldn't be involved. I want less government involvement. I don't want the federal government having a marriage police. I want the states to deal with it if they have to, if they need to. But if you didn't even need the states, really, why do we have to have a license to get married? Why don't we just go to the church? And what other individuals do, why can't we permit them to do it? Whatever they call it, that's their problem, not mine. Just so nobody else forces their definition of marriage on you. That is what we have to prevent. So I would say less government would be better. If you have to have regulations, let the federal government, let the state governments do it. All right, Senator Santorum. Congressman Paul. I could follow up with you. Is Speaker Gingrich wrong to want to save the Fed? Not exactly, because my position isn't that I'd close the door down immediately. I, I, you can phase it out. But there's some other things that we could do that in a transition phase. For instance, uh, and I'm, I'm delighted that mainstream is catching up with us these days for auditing the Fed. This is great. <laughs> But I, I've made a suggestion, which is a serious suggestion, and there's been quite a few who have supported me on this. Uh, we, owe the, uh, we owe the Fed $1.6 trillion in, in Treasury bills. <laughs> Where'd they get the money to buy it? They create it out of thin air. So we pay them interest. So that's on our books. So we literally, with legislation, could wipe $1.6 trillion off. That's not a solution to the monetary problem or our spending problems, but it would give you a year to work this out, and we wouldn't have had that, any of that debate going on. Those were all scare tactics to try to scare people into doing things. So, but that is one thing that we could, could do. But eventually, we have to deal with the Fed, because the Fed creates the business cycle. If you don't understand the business cycle, you don't know why we have recessions. The sooner we learn that, the better. Thank you. Senator Santorum. Congressman Paul. I've been in politics for 35 years. My cause has been the cause of liberty. And I am convinced that liberty does not come from our government, but it comes from our creator. And, and our goal should be peace and prosperity. It is under the principles of liberty that you have the greatest chance of achieving peace and prosperity. That is why I am so down on these wars that it's costing us trillions of dollars, why we have to reform the monetary system, why we need honest money, a gold standard and not paper money out of the Federal Reserve System. But also we need to change the environment for our businesses. We need to get lower the regulations and, and the taxes and have private property rights and contract rights then we can achieve peace and real prosperity. Governor Romney.